Hello, welcome to another Daily Digest video. I'm Ross Miriam. Today I'm playing a sweet deck from Grand Prix Leon, which was a little while ago now. This is from Thomas Riedo. Let me make sure I'm getting that name correct. Yes, Thomas Riedo. Uh, finished 31st in the tournament. Five color reanimator with Gifts and Given. So uh, if you're unaware with Gifts and Given, you don't have to find four cards. And if you find two, they're both going to go to the graveyard. So you can find Unburial Rights and some giant creature to reanimate and then flash back the Unburial Rights. Uh, so the deck has a lot of ramp elements, as you can see. And then this tries to Gifts early. So, um, also has like Lingering Souls for value, some removal, collective brutality. Faithless Looting that can set up an early reanimation, or you can just ramp into your big threats. So, uh, a lot of cool elements going on, and hopefully we get to put some giant monsters into play. Uh, this hand I'm definitely going to keep, because we have turn 3 gifts, turn 4, hopefully kill them, so... Or, put the game away. Uh, they are on the play, right? Yes. Ooh, stomping Ground. Could be a Valakut deck. Path to Exile. Um, uh, it's a lot of colors in this deck. It's also a Bring to Light deck, so I'm thinking about how I want to have my lands line up. I probably want... I want. I definitely want blue at some point. And I definitely want... Yeah, is there a way I can just take less damage? Problem is, like, Woods repeat the Temple Garden aligned perfectly. So, if I got Forest, then this is still only two colors, but I can get blue off of one of these and then black off the other one and probably be fine. I don't really need double colors, at least until later, and I can certainly fix the mana at that point. Um, though, I don't have, a, there aren't a lot of basics in the deck, actually, as it looks like. There's only six, and I'm searching out four with this, so I should probably get a Shock Lamp here, which means I should probably get. Oh, probably just get, like, green-black. Because I think I'm going to get Basic Island. Yeah, I don't really want to get Basic Swamp. Suspend. I definitely want to get a second plane. Several of my big spells are double white. I guess I need to get red at some point for Faithless Looting. Uh, we should be able to figure it out. With so many mana fixers, it shouldn't be that hard. Uh, if I brick on lands, I definitely don't want to sus uh, have suspended search next turn because then I'll be short of four. So I'm definitely playing Tribe Elder. Just going to take five, I guess. Yeah, it definitely looks my my opponent is Scape Shift. Uh, so which big thing do I want to get? Probably Iona and just name green. That stops Primeval Titan and ooh, that stops Prime Time and Scape Shift. So that'll be the plan. Explore into search. That is pretty good. My opponent is probably wondering what I'm doing. I'm doing the same thing you are, buddy. Oh no. Are they down here and I'm up there? No. Okay. That would be weird. So as long as I get two more turns, I should be fine. Uh, but they're set up to actually cast Primeval Titan next turn, which is awkward. Although I guess I can path it. Um, yeah. Which is probably the plan. They're going to end up with a bunch of Valakids in play, though. Hmm. If they end up with three Valakids in play, I'm in trouble. If they only end up with two, I'm in much better shape. Still not great, because they can have a Mountain plus any red burn spell to deal with the Iona. Um... Do I want to get the mountain at this point? Uh -oh, probably not. Yeah, because actually I do want to get second planes because next turn I might need to flashback and barrier rights plus play path. So I definitely want second planes. And that one's not very good. Uh, 
Uh, now I'm in an awkward spot where I'm probably going to have to show them what I'm doing with this gifts and hope to draw land to not be dead to a primeval titan. Oh, please. Oh, yes. No primeval titan. That is excellent. I will play gifts and given targeting you. Now we are in excellent shape. So I want an burial rights and an Iona. Done. Only had two cards in my deck. Sorry, buddy. Not the Sakura Tribe Elder. Let's get the Iona. Could still be in trouble, actually, here. But I don't think I can give them another turn because I'm probably going to get scapeshifted. If I had drawn a land, I would have passed the Sakura Tribe Elder for sure. Um, because now, if they have any red burn spell, they can... Uh, any red burn spell plus a mountain. They can go mountain, shock, sack tribal to shock, red burn spell, deal with the Iona. And then I'm in back in square one. But definitely have to just play around scape shift as opposed to all of those cards. Let's name green. This is, yeah, it is opponents. That's what I thought. So I can still cast green cards. See if I'm dead. There is the mountain. Oh, that's not good. Do they have it all? Oh no, they they screwed it up. Well, I guess they uh, they have egg on their face. They did, in fact, have it all. If they if they had the scape shift too, I'm just dead. <laughs> uh, you yeah, know, I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that that one is not their uh, finest moment. But so if I had drawn that land and been able to path first, I would have been in much better shape. But you know, sometimes your opponents help you out. Okay, this crumble the dust card seems good. This slaughter games card might be good. They sort of win with two different things, right? Definitely like Disdainful Stroke. Do I like any of the life gain cards to potentially get me out of scapeshift range for a turn? Probably not. Um, the awkward thing now is that they likely have like Relic. Um, which is a tough card to deal with. Do I want to bring in Ancient Grudge? I don't think I can reliably... Uh, like ramp into these things. Elish Norn doesn't really do anything. Neither does Sigarda, to be honest, but at least it's cheaper. I probably want to bring out an Unburial Rights if they're going to be uh, doing things like that to me. Do I want to... How do I feel about Brutality? How do I feel about Path? I don't really want a million Paths. The first one seems kind of good. Beyond that, they're not great. I do have two counter spells now to deal with Primeval Titan. Though if I draw my one Crumble, then I'll definitely want to path every Primeval Titan they have. Oh, these Lingering Souls are, are heinous. Um, we, we can definitely cut those. That's just not a card that is good in, this, in a matchup like this. I wonder if I just want things like this. With like a couple disdainful strokes and collective brutality, I might be able to just go underneath them. Um, hmm. Probably one Thrag Tusk is enough for that. Maybe I want Slaughter Games. I probably want this Slaughter Games. I don't know how much I want Collective Brutality. It just seems so weak. Like sometimes, most of the time, you just take a ramp spell, but that might be fine. Thing is that, I guess if I go like turn one, search, turn two, take your ramp spell, that's good. 
Um, maybe I, oh, I probably want to just like kind of faithless looting. Again, I'm, I'm trying to make myself less graveyard oriented in the post board games. That makes sense. Kind of wish I had a Snapcaster Mage to go with Gifts and Given. Nice mana base in this deck, yeah. <laughs> Love a nice mana base, but at least this one's capable. Uh, I'm going to bottom that one with a hand with no pressure or path isn't really going to save me. Uh, I need to find something to do with this on burial rights pretty quickly. If I draw a faithless looting, I could turn three looting into a, a creature, discard it, and rights, and flash back the rights. Mm, they have suspend search. That's not good. Continued great mana. I'm not going to be able to duress until turn three here, and I don't think it's going to do enough good when they have a turn one suspended search. Really need to duress on turn two. Yeah, that is not good at all. Um, I don't even think I suspend this. I think I can just hard cast it next turn. And I do want to give myself this two outer kind of nonsense. But not a game that is looking good for the home team. Opponent way ahead on mana. We don't really have much of anything going on. I guess the good news is we are at 20, so they need eight lands to escape shift us. Oh, fewer than eight lands now. The Prismatic Open, they only need six. And they have a, a natural allocate. Oh, uh, um, that's actually interesting. And if I had if I had had the suspend search on turn, uh, if I had had the suspend search on turn three, um, or on turn one, I mean, and it came off here, I'd be able to. Collective Brutality, Fully Escalating, and Flashback and Barrow Rights on Iona. Um, so, the plan here is a definitely... Uh, cast Search for Tomorrow, get a Swamp. Brutality them, discarding the Iona. Giving minus two, minus two to Tribe Elder to force the sack on it and duressing them, hopefully taking a scape shift, and they don't have Primeval Titan, and then next turn on Burial Rights the Iona, and hope that wins. That is definitely, at least we have a, a plan at this point, but man, this is this is very close to the nuts if the search was in our opening hand. Uh, I want two modes. Minus two, minus two, and duress. Choose the opponent, choose the creature. Pay the mana. Discard a card. Uh, and they get to Domus for three here. So this Omen. Omen does make it a lot easier for them to Valak it down the Iona. No Primeval Titan, please. <laughs> oh, that is a lot of Primeval Titans. <laughs> that was the opposite. The opposite of what I wanted. Uh, am I just dead? Yeah, they just get two Valakids here, right? And 18 me. Pretty sure that's how this works. Because everything is mountain. 
Prismatic Omen definitely supercharges this deck. Yep, that is 18. Okay. Let's sideboard again. Do I want to bring in an answer to Prismatic Omen? The only one I have in my deck is Mystic Enforcer. That does not seem good. Um, they're not Mystic, uh, Fracture and Gust. The card beneath Mystic Enforcer. So. Um, I'm going to try one of these. Still answers Primeval Titan, but sometimes giving them land is too good. It's just another card I can search for with Bring to Light. Um, yeah, I think this is how I will run it. I don't really see any of these other cards doing anything. I did not see any Graveyard Hate, notably, in that game, but my opponent also just had a really good aggressive hand on the play. So, I mean, it was a, a surefire keep, regardless of their ability to disrupt me. Um, so, uh, yes, I would like to play first. This has no mana. Let's mulligan. Uh, I don't really have any way to abuse the graveyard with this hand. So the looting is awkward. But it should fix my draw a little bit. Technically don't want to draw a siege right now. Shock myself. Secure Tribe Elder and the land. Well, I definitely want the Tribe Elder. So why don't I discard a Bring to Light and a One Swift Teeth? And pass a turn. Not the best of starts. That one I definitely would want to discard. <laughs> I'll uh, we'll probably be flashing back the looting on uh, our next turn, so no worries there. I think I'll just get the island here and save myself some life. Then I'll get a plains with this tribe elder. I imagine we'll just see a two mana discard spell here, or two mana ramp spell. And I will continue to try to accelerate. I don't know what I'm going to accelerate into with this Bring to Light. I don't have a creature in the graveyard to find a burial rights with. I don't really know what I want to slaughter games, and they haven't put a Valakit into play for the first time, so I can't get Crumble to Dust. Pentad Prism. I don't think playing that is better than flashing back looting. I'd rather just hit land drops. This could also inform my bring to light. Uh, okay, well now I think the mana is best because Disdainful Stroke is a cleaner answer to Primeval Titan than the two removal spells. So I can play the land here. Next turn, if I draw land 5, I might be able to bring to light, if that's good. Or I can just play Pentad Prism, hold up Stroke for whatever they do, and then bring to light. So let's discard Shriek Maw Path. And play this over on Tomb. Not a bad land to draw in that spot, too. I guess I want a second white would be the other thing. But get us some black mana in case I draw a Brutality. More ramping. Mm. Um, so it is very unlikely that they scape shift me next turn. They'd have to pop Tribe Elder, untap, have five lands in play, play untapped land, another two mana ramp spell for land seven into scape shift. That's three of their five cards. Uh, so I think I'd rather get the Prism down, stroke a Primeval Titan, and then potentially Brutality away Escape Shift. Uh, 
and let's see how it goes. And if they tap out, then I might be able to sneak in and unburial the rights with this brutality. I guess not, because I only have six mana. So I can't draw a creature and then bring to light d brutality in. Bring to light into burial rites. It's a little behind here. Because if I disdainful stroke whatever they do this turn, I might be able to brutality them, take something remaining, and then see what they have, and then bring to light into slaughter games and go from there. Oh wow, they're just popping the relic. Okay. They might really need a six land for Primeval Titan. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Let's disdainful stroke that. Exactly what I wanted. Um So now I'd rather take a scape shift from their hand and hope they just have another Primeval Titan, which I can then path with the trigger on the stack. They get two Valakuts, then I bring the light for uh, for Crumble the Dust, deal with all their Valakuts, and leave them with uh, hopefully just like two Prime Times in their deck and maybe some other stuff to to kill me. So let's just duress them with this. They have two Primeval Titans in their hand. Okay, then. And a stomping ground. Well, I guess I have to try to find an answer to a Primeval Titan. This path with the trigger on the stack so they don't valk at me. Gonna be able to play the stomping ground and six me though. Bring me to eleven. Oh no, I, I don't get the one in play though. Oh, this is this is all bad. Yeah, this is not good. This is not good at all. I think I'm dead. I don't know what else. like I could have just pegged them on having a million primeval titans in their hand and just slaughter games them, but that, that just loses to escape shift, which I think they're more likely to have than another uh, than multiple primeval titans because I can handle one, I guess. Um, but yeah, the, the crumble doesn't get the other one in play. I don't know. I missed that one. Uh, I could get the, uh, I could tag the Primeval Titan from their hand now, but then they're left with these two Valakits in play with me at 11. So I don't really see what that does. Um, uh, if I let the Primeval Titan, if I just crumble, they prime time, get two mountains, bring me to five. I mean, any ramp spell or land brings me to two, and then I have to, like, and then I, my path exile doesn't even deal with this because they've dealt with the Shriek Maw. Um, is there a spot where I could have cast Bring the Light into Gifts? Probably not with uh, be at, before the Relic got removed while still like disrupting them. Yeah, I think I just played around Scape Shift and got really punished. What, what else can I do here? To the, to the list. Um, hmm. Kind of wish. I guess the Crumble to Dust is also there for Tron. Because in this matchup, something like a Rune Halo would be a lot better. Yeah, but you need the Crumble for Tron. Um. 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 
really don't see what I can get here that gets me out of this. This Pentad Prism was awkward, it didn't really do anything. Can I race in any way? I got like a Thragtusk that just gets more than trumped by Primeval Titan. That's sort of what Primeval Titan does. I guess I can just hope they bricked on lands or maybe come close to running out of mountains. Yeah, I guess that's my thing. Blue, green, uh, less than or equal to black, white, colorless, so x equals 4. Uh, crumble to dust. Cast so close. If I had been able to... <laughs> they drew another Primeval Titan. Uh, so they have some Beast Villains, they have an Hour Promise, but with no Deserts. Yeah. And they have four Scape Shifts still in their deck. I guess they have four Scape Shifts and they had two packs left, so they have five copies of Primeval Titan left. So they're pretty likely to have one Titan over one Scape Shift after playing a Titan. Um, but Scape Shift was something I could, I was very dead to, and I could beat one Titan. I guess I would still leave them with a Valakit in play with me at 11. But a second Titan, which is not a great spot to be in, but it gives me some time. Then I, like, if that was the case, then I could use this Bring to, uh, I guess I had to use this Bring to Light to do that. So I would have just been able to, like, draw to Gifts and Given or something. But. Uh, the one game they didn't have an early Valakit. If they had drawn one early, I would have been able to tag it, and then these Primeval Titans I could have answered. At least hope to answer, I guess. And beat 17 still. I just had another LD spell, too. Again, a, a Snapcaster Mage, see? That's all you need. Yeah, now I'm at five. I'm just dead to the the other pact. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother playing this out. But it's just good scape shift hands. It's definitely another matchup that you want to see. Maybe I'm supposed to just ignore relic because it seems like my only way to win is turbo Iona. I can't really beat them in any other kind of game. Uh, I have some disruption to help get, get me there, but um, Iona is just about the only thing I can I can do that really does anything. Maybe I'm just supposed to bring in an Ancient Grudge then, <laughs> and Grudge the Rally can play that kind of game. That makes sense to me. The escape, although, the big mana decks just go over the top of anything you do on the board, and Reanimator is a deck that plays the board. So, unless your reanimation kills them, uh, you're going to lose, and our re there are one way to reanimate and effectively kill them um, would be Iona. I guess I did have another LD spell left in the deck. I can Ashen Rider it. So, um, Maybe had a shot there if they didn't have a million Primeval Titans, but they did, and that was good enough. At least they gave us game one just to give me some semblance of hope there. That was nice of our opponent, but anyway, hope you enjoyed watching that one, and you can come back and see me on Monday. I think the next one's Monday. Bye.